you should read Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. But before I get into the synopsis and my thoughts on this incredible comic book, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any future episodes or updates. Saga is one of the most popular comic books probably ever written, and for good reason. Before I get into my thoughts, here is a brief synopsis of the story. Saga follows the lives of Alana and Marco, two soldiers from opposing sides of an intergalactic war. Marco is of the planet Wreath, and Alana is from Landfall. They have been in an intergalactic war for longer than most people can remember, and in so long, in fact, that nobody even knows why they are at war anymore. It's just become the norm of the universe that these two sides are fighting each other. So the side that Marco is from, Wreath, uh, they are identified by the horns on their heads, uh, they use magic, they speak a different language than the people of Landfall, and they are viewed as almost barbaric or you know, a uh, uh, less cultivated, less civilized culture than Landfall is because they still use magic and things of that nature. Whereas Landfall, their people are identified because they have wings. That's where Alana is from. So Alana, their culture is much more technology-based and things like that. They are very different. They don't use magic. And once again, like I said, they speak different languages. So Alana and Marco meet when Marco is actually a prisoner of war, and Alana is one of the guards watching him. And they begin to fall in love. And the story opens with the birth of their child, the probably the first child ever born that is of both Wreath and of Landfall. And... You know, it's a big deal because, well, they're at war with each other and the war needs to continue. But this story follows them as this little family tries to make it in a universe that is out to get them. It's a very basic synopsis of this book. Like I said, it is a really good story. And this book comic is usually one of the first comic books I recommend to new readers. And the reason being is I think it is the perfect example of something that's only really possible in a comic book. And that's that it transcends genre. Right, so obviously there's like a heavy science fiction influence, you know, we're on other planets, we're in a different galaxy, there's alien species, spaceships, laser guns, robot people, stuff like that. So obviously very heavy science fiction, but then there's also a huge amount of fantasy in this book. You know, we have magic, we have spirits, we have ghosts and things of that nature. So you get a good mix of those two things, which you don't typically see a lot in movies and television. You don't get that heavy mix of science fiction and fantasy, and it's balanced perfectly between between the two as far as like the kind of overall larger narrative that's happening those two things really balance each other really well and some of the other things that this book does that once again you can really only get in a comic book is it gives you so much depth to all of the characters you know we don't aren't we aren't just at war the whole time fighting in battles i mean there is a good amount of action and everything of course you know comic books always have a certain amount of action in them for the most part but there's comedy there's a heavy amount of romance uh you know you get slice of life of kind of you know, what they're trying to do, they need to get jobs while they're on the lam, you know, fleeing as war criminals, you know, they have to find a place to live, they're trying to take care of a baby, they have a relationship, they're a newly married couple trying to come together and grow a family and support their family and build their family and have a life together. So it really hits a lot of different genres on a lot of different levels, and it balances them all so perfectly. And the reason that I chose this book for this week is this book has actually been on hold since 2018, and it feels like a lot longer because the last issue actually ended on a huge cliffhanger. I believe it was issue 54 in volume number nine. Um, so Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples, they took a big break, uh, and now they're going to come back. They just announced recently at New York Comic Con that they're going to come back, they're going to pick the series up, and they're going to keep going with it which is huge and exciting, and it's going to go for another 54 issues. Um, and it's going to start over in January. So now is the perfect time to get reading uh, Saga. I have all nine volumes available on gtxcomics.com. And it's a really easy read. You can get through it rather quickly. If you've never read a comic book before, this is the comic that I would recommend. If you've been reading comics for a long time and you haven't read this one yet, you definitely need to give it a read. Because like I said, it's an incredible book. And it's the perfect book for new comic book readers, for experienced comic book readers. It's just a great story. And... And it's because, like I said, it is something that is truly unique to comic books is that it can transcend genres, right? If you're a fan of sci-fi, you'll like it. If you're a fan of fantasy, you'll like it. If you like more of the, the drama, the romance, the comedy, you'll enjoy it. Because there are some moments in this book that are genuinely funny. Some moments where you're like, that's kind of silly or, you know, that's how things, you know, it makes it feel 
even though we're dealing with aliens, we're dealing with cyclopses, we're dealing with ghosts and, and horned aliens and people with wings and all these crazy things, it, the very humanity of all the characters is very evident. Um, and the story of Marco and Alana, we really get to understand the characters. We really get to to see where they're coming from and develop with them throughout the story. Um, you know, artwork by Fiona Staples, second to none. It is some of the best artwork. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's captivating in every scene. You know, you have just so much visually happening that keeps you drawn in. It's perfectly balanced color-wise. And it's just, I mean, as you can see in these panels I'm showing you, the artwork is incredible and some of my favorite. And it's an absolute masterclass in storytelling from Brian K. Vaughn. You know, the story, it's compelling, it's heartfelt, it's funny, it's action-packed, it's suspenseful. You know, you really care about each character, even the ones that are more on the antagonist side of it. You know, everybody's motivations are very kind of drawn out and really exposed and explored in ways to where even the characters that are hunting Marco and Alana for being, you know, deserters, for being war criminals, you do kind of feel for them and you begin to care about them and you begin to care about most all of the characters for their own ways because everybody has their own reasons. Everybody has their own motivations. And it's, it's truly an amazing character-driven story with a really great plot. So I definitely recommend checking out Saga. You can actually get all nine volumes um, at gtxcomics.com the link is down in the description but seriously if you haven't read this if you've been wanting to read it now is the perfect time as we do know it is going to be coming back this january but that is it for my thoughts on saga you know let me know in the comments have you read this is it a book that you enjoy would you recommend it to a new reader are you planning on reading it i'd love to talk to you more about it in the comments thank you so much for watching another episode of you should read this be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any future episodes or updates, and I'll see you later.